Okay, Cowboys, Buck Roos out here in Roll Heights, California, Roll Heights, Gazette, and Roll Everything, Roll Heights. What are we doing on it? This is segment three. I mean, I'm on a roll here. And what are we doing now? We're uh, catching up on this news situation here. And some, it, it, it's not old. This is it right now, today going on. And they want a permanent, let's just talk about a permanent fix. And of course, uh, the Supreme Court since then has uh, come out and said, well, you know something, uh, Mr. Uh, President Trump, uh, uh, you, we're not going to let you do that. That did because we got a level of uh, of uh, controlled pandemonium now. If we let you get rid of this thing, chaos will ensue. Which you know I think is a bunch of garbage. Myself, I have to read the court papers finally, except because I first was told that it just wasn't uh, as uh, professionally done as it could have done, and maybe uh, the uh, Trump lawyers thought that uh, this was a slam dunk. You know. But there's too much of the social political thing and for the court uh, to put this thing in the center where they actually should have. Why? Why are we talking about this? Why did it was President Obama that put it this DACA situation? Why? Because your Congress, which had the duty and responsibility to produce the laws and resolve this situation, didn't do a damn thing. And we're talking about Republicans and Democrats. And don't give me others. Oh, and all that sort of crap. Okay? And what did you do? Oh, hey, man, uh, that, that's not in my backyard. Uh, so that, that's what you are, you know? Uh, and, and so you deserve all the, the crap that you get and pay for it all. You know, you think, oh, hey, man, this is not in my backyard. You're going to be paying for it. And what the sequelae sets up. Because guess what else? It wasn't in uh, uh, this article, or the, it was, that they want to have the DACA people. And guess what? Little DACA people get to get their parent DACA people or DACA pose or whatever they're in here, too. Folks, we, oh, my God, that is like that chain immigration situation, you know. This country is in economic shambles, and there's plenty of suffering uh, coming down the pike due to COVID and this uh, uh, rioting, destruction, uh, social upheaval that's going on now. You know, folks, so wake up. Don't, don't get on President Trump. He's just trying to deal with things in a final manner. You know, whether you like it or not, you know, he's doing something. With your, your damn Congress people, Republicans and Democrats. Republicans had both the House and the Senate because they had their plates full. There's so much crap going on with the uh, Obamacare and all that other stuff. But they're doing their little power in fighting too. So everybody's got the blame game going down there. So people wake up, you know. Uh, this stuff is not going to be cured. When you, again, decades in the making, but it's Congress, not Trump. It's Congress failing to do their duty. Okay? And uh, why, why the Obama gets to put it in and Somebody else can't take it out. I mean, it's just an executive order here. What the hell's going on? Okay, but uh, get, get some of the court papers. Read them. Sometimes it's funny. You can get a brief on it. Okay, three minutes, 33 seconds. And uh, there's just so much other stuff coming thing to look forward to. Uh, these, these people here, maybe we'll, we'll do two for the price of one. This is true, and people giving their opinions. And we, uh, and it's always nice to hear about opinions, okay? I, I don't have any opinion. I just give you the facts, and you can deal with it as you wish. And this is about uh, uh, policing Pasadena with more citizens. Oh, God, Jesus, with the sheriff's department. People, do a little research. Don't believe me. You know, just the county board of supervisors had the sheriff's department for decades, and nothing would have changed but for the federal government come in and putting, uh, help me if then was a 16 or 18 in federal penitentiary, to include Leroy Baca, okay? And the County Board of Supervisors should have been in there too. Now, that would be on another segment, okay? Criminal, the County Board of Supervisors were funding a criminal organization. That's just a matter of fact, the RICO stuff and all that. And then we have another one here that says, policing West Covina with a bloated budget. What? Okay, you have to read down there and find out, is it the the police department has a bloated budget, or the whole city has a bloated budget. And the thing is, where in the hell have you been all the time? Have you been a mass down there? Uh, 
protesting the uh, the budget, and I, I know a little bit about what's been going on in West Covina. It's it's not a pretty picture, okay? And uh, then we had this other one, uh, Policing Whittier with Respectful Police. What the hell is this? Obviously, the police are supposed to... You, they work in for you. They're supposed to take care of people who stray from the path of righteousness and virtue. But as you have watched the police go on for the past uh, year or so forth, uh, even go, go back to Baca if you want, and so forth, uh, uh, that, uh, it, again, it's not a pretty picture. And that kid over in uh, Orange County, you know, he's a homeless guy there. And uh, guess what? Not only did they suffocate him by sitting on his back and crushing and that's the, uh, the autopsy report, but then this guy comes up and just smashing him in the face repeatedly, you know? My God, I can't, I can't go anymore. It's making me sick. Okay, six minutes, folks. Hanging there. We're having a good time. Bye.